Thank you for agreeing to come on, Loki, because you, you've said before you rarely do these. So the fact that you know you've given us your time to tell your story, really do appreciate it. Um, one quick question I do want to ask before we get to more super chats. You've mentioned a few bosses. Um, one name we haven't mentioned yet is uh, Dixie Carter. What was your experiences with her and how was she compared to the other bosses you've worked with? I didn't really deal with Dixie one-on-one. So as far as just working with the company, I was pretty much interacting with the management under her. So it was never really anything direct. Um, the one thing that I thought was a good moment was uh, when my dad passed away in 2015, he was dying and I had to cancel a whole day's worth of media while we were in New York to go take care of him. And uh, that night, I believe, was the pay-per-view for Hardcore Justice. And uh, towards the end of the night, I gave them the green light and said, you know, if you guys still want me on, I'll come in. But then after I finish the match, I'm coming back home to take care of my dad. So wow. that wow. pay-per-view, I took a cab, went to the Manhattan Center, did the match. When I walked in, Samoa Joe and MVP just grabbed me. And they were just hugging me hard. And I just I let them know. I go, let's get to work. So we had that cage match that had all of us in there. It was like, I think it was a, a eight-man tag cage match. So we went out there. We got busy. Had a good match. Headlined a pay-per-view. I grabbed my things, jumped back in the cab, and went back home. I think a couple of days later was when my dad passed away. Respect. And she sent me, uh, she had sent me a message going, uh, you know, I'm sorry, you know, for your loss. And it was just a, you know, just a respect thing. Yeah. Um, but as far as like any interaction one-on-one -on -one with her, I'd never really dealt with her one-on-one. -on -one. And I've heard all these different stories from what people have said and heard and saw or whatever, but my interaction with her was never really anything, you know, other than maybe that one instance, but it was a, a more of a friendly thing, nothing like cordial. It was, just, yeah. or it, should, it was just cordial. It was just nothing really beyond we're in the same environment. We just never really interacted a, a lot together. Although in uh, 2015, the, the UK show that we did, <laughs> I scared her and her husband. And it was because we were doing the beatdown clan and we had an autograph signing. And I had Madison Rain next to me at the table. So the fans were coming in to get autographs from us. And one fan, was very disrespectful on how he approached us. He just slammed his stuff on the table going like, without saying, could you please sign this? You know, hey, nice to see you, anything like that. So I let him get by with that. But then when he got to her, he called her the wrong name. Then she was like, that's not my name. And he kind of like just brushed her off like, yeah, whatever, sign this. And I got up. I got up and I was like, you ain't going to be talking to any of our girls like that. I don't care who you are. So when that happened, I brushed off all of his items off the table, like, take it, get out of here now. Because you can get away with trying to act a fool from behind the barricade while the show's going on. When you got a one-on-one -on -one with us, you're not coming into our space thinking you're going to be disrespectful, especially to our girls. Mm -hmm. So he, he looked at it, and I had the exhibition title on my table, and he grabs it. So now I swing the table to the side and now everyone's just looking like, uh-oh. And I yell out to Serge, which was uh, Dixie's husband. I go, Serge, get him out of here now. Wow. So when that happened, security came, rushed him, grabbed him, grabbed his things, said, you need to go now. And I go, get him out of the building now. Wow. So that's what they did. They removed him, got everything set up back. Uh, back to where we were at our table and all that stuff. And the, the craziest thing was there was a mother and her son just right next to all of that. So from me going into almost into kill mode, then I looked at there right there and I go back to being nice and polite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, sorry you had to see that. What's your name? You're right. You know? What's your name? Yeah. So, Loki low key equals truth. That's a good one from Richard. Well, thank you. So far, very, very true.